When Stuart McSwain walked onto the track in Tokyo, nearly 8,500 kilometres away, the King Island Hotel in Curry erupted. The entire island glued to their screens as one of their own took it up to the best in the world over 1,500 metres. Celebrating like mad, as they should, when Stewie crossed the line in seventh. After the race, some could barely contain their emotions, having witnessed a King Islander on the world stage. The fact that he made it to the Olympics, I mean, he had a dream, he pursued it. To me, he's inspiration. Like, how amazing, someone from King Island to make it so far. Absolutely so proud of him. For newcomers, it was powerful to see just how close the remote community is. I've been here for a month so far and the amount of community spirit over this race tonight has been huge. I feel quite lucky to be a part of it and to be on King Island and witness it and good on him, well done. Come the morning, the Islanders had swapped pints for pies but were still cheering. Hey! And their pride was still bubbling over. So good for our island. Oh, it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. At just 26, the experts say Stewie's best years in the 1500 may yet be ahead of him. And as an accomplished runner at longer distances, there's plenty of room for optimism. He may be going up that medal, I think, hopefully. And he's got no shortage of people on this island willing to offer him support and advice on how to get there. It actually caught my eye that the Norwegian guy had a bit more muscle on. And so my first impression was this guy's going to be hard to beat. So maybe Stewie needs to spend the next three years putting a bit of beef on. It, it might help him. Just a, a bit more gym time, perhaps. Messages sure to be passed on when Stewie finally gets home. Will Murray, ABC News, King Island.